Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to solve a system of uh, equations simultaneously using your TI-89 calculator. So let's go ahead and clear it. What we're going to have to do very first is we're going to have to use the solve function. You can find that up in these F1, so I think it's going to be F2 for algebra. F2, and the very first thing that comes up is solve. So we hit solve, so enter, and uh, you go ahead and type in your three equations. The ones that we're going to do are the following. It's going to be x um, plus y minus z equals 4. Now you have to use a very special command here. You're going to go up to catalog, and you have to use the and button here. You can't type out and for some reason. It's not the same. Uh, it interprets it as variables rather than a command. So hit and, so we hit OK. And our next equation is x minus 2y um, plus 3z equals negative 6. We're going to go up to catalog again and hit and one more time. Our third equation is going to be 2x plus 3y plus z equals 7. You have to hit comma now, and comma then lets you say, I want to solve for these equations, and you have to tell it what, do you, what variable you want to solve for. It's going to solve for all of them, but you have to give it a variable. So let's just say x. And then you put a close bracket on it and hit enter. You give it a minute, it does the algebra here, and it's going to spit out the answer. Okay, now it's giving the answer in its full non-reduced simplified form, so this is the actual form. If you ever wanted to change that and you don't care about that, you can do so. Okay, under mode, we're going to scroll down, and at the very bottom of mode, okay, here, this one that says exact versus approximate, Let's go ahead and tell it to do approximate, right? So we hit save, go ahead and enter. If you run this one more time, it's going to run it again. But now it's going to spit out values for x, y, and z that are approximate values rather than the, the mathematically correct value. Right? So there you go. Looking up, you can see there's your value for x, for y, and for z. Okay? Now in this case, there's multiple solutions available. Right? So it says or x could be this, y could be that. Z could be this or this. So there's multiple solutions. In this system of equations, there's more than one solution. And so that's why it took so long to calculate it, is just spitting out multiple solutions. But that's how you use the solve function to solve systems of equations with your TI-89.